I'm actually an Asian man. I just look like a Nigerian dude. All right. And what I mean by that, if y'all notice, Asian people don't vote. They have less than 1% of representation in any government, local, state, or federal in the United States of America. And they are economically the number one group in the United States of America. They don't give a fuck who's in office. They isolate and vanish for themselves either way. So that's why I take after their example. <laughs> I'm functionally Asian. So no matter who the hell is in office, I'm going to do, I'm going to be high. But what I will tell you is I cannot vote for Kamala Harris to keep it true to the title of this show. A vote for against her is a vote for self-preservation. And that's in the beginning. There is an agenda by the Democratic Party to remove the heterosexual black male father figure. I'm sorry, the male father figure from the home and from society. They want to disempower you and they want your permission to do it. I, I think it is fair to say, because if you imagine a group that voted zero, <laughs> you're looking up being like, wow, like how's that group gonna get treated over time? Pretty poorly. You know, it's Asian, it's Latino, it's black. Uh, and rather than being pitted against each other, what we have to do is saying, but wait, it's all of our communities. A lot of voting habits, you know, our behavior with politics is passed down from our parents. Oh, well, I, 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 again, I'm gonna share an experience I think is pretty familiar to you all. Like, son of immigrants, my parents never talked about American politics, and they certainly weren't like, you gotta get out and vote, you gotta volunteer, you gotta run for office. Instead it was like, keep your head down, get good grades, try and get a good job. It's one reason I love you guys, because you already have taken, you know, on a lot as creatives uh, in the community when, you know, I mean, your, your parents probably are also like, <laughs> you know, like, why don't I go to law school or whatever. We don't have a heritage or history of voting, um, and I think that there have been messages that we've received that make it seem like Politics is not for us, um, but it's one reason why I really want to win this race is because I think if you had an Asian American mayor in New York City, it would be a game changer, not just here in New York, but around the country. A lot of voting habits, you know, our behavior with politics is passed down from our parents. You know, I will say that my parents came to America, they were just trying to survive, you know, try and make ends meet and, you know, make it better for their family. So for them to think about the community as a whole was not really a priority for them. Yeah, I think traditionally Asians do not vote because our parents didn't vote. Uh, we don't actually think that the, the our vote actually counts. Uh, and traditionally, it's just not really cool to vote, right? Like, we don't have influencers, we don't have media, we don't have kind of our mentors or people older than us kind of educating us and telling us, hey, voting is important. It's going to impact your life. You should probably do it. I mean, you know, there are a lot of challenges, language barriers. You know, my mom has been in this country for 30 plus years and still doesn't speak any English. Um, there are many moms and grandmothers like that in our community, and we need to be speaking to them. And we need to make sure that we are, you know, reaching out to them in the languages that they speak. We need to get out and vote for sure. And if Asian Americans voted, at the level of our population in New York City, it would transform New York politics forever. I mean, I mean that, 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 that's a true statement. 15% of the population, our community-based nonprofits get 1.5% of the public funds that go towards uh, different communities' nonprofits. So that's out of whack. Anyone can see 15%, 1.5%. And as mayor, I've said that I'm going to treat all the communities the same. And unfortunately, being treated fairly would be a massive upgrade for the Asian American community, but it won't happen unless we vote. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's it's kind of interesting. Uh, I know people have their emotions. I, I like my man Traylon with the hat on. Express yourself. Uh, you shouldn't care about shame. I think uh, us, us as a black people, we like to shame each other on our thoughts and opinions and views. But we got to stop that because that's bullying. Um. And then what you do is when you do that, you actually promote what you don't want because karma is a real thing. So like um, Trigger, I, I appreciate everything you're saying because I've had these conversations with my students. And I know you had it with yours, but honestly, uh, we, we got to do better. Um, a vote for Trump, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Seeing that the DEI, and he knows what I'm talking about because he's a teacher like me. Uh, I, I gotta remember pronouns. I gotta. I think Trump is probably gonna be a good reset, especially for women. It's gonna be a good reset. Like you, you, there's a, and even if she gets in there, it, it's gonna be a good reset because that's gonna be a civil war times two, 
in my opinion. Let me let me ask the question. How do tears on mostly wood and steel increase the price on chicken? <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know. Okay, first of all, tariffs on all goods. On goods, they right? Don't. What is a good? No, a listen. product. A good is a product, you know right? What's I crazy? promise you, Reese. People cherry pick stuff and they truly don't know. Oh, yeah, shit. That's crazy. Literally, every economist they truly are saying don't. the same thing me and Kenny are saying. Every bro, economist. Bro, you listening to CNN. Stop, bro. No, y'all yeah, are smarter than no, econo- no, economists, I'm apparently. Doing the apparently, y'all are smarter I'm, than economists. Bro, some, bro, some economists say totally different okay, from what you're saying. Okay, but apparently, y'all are so smart. Y'all are smarter bro, than there economists, are apparently. economists that are saying directly against what you're saying. I don't saying, know what, so, what university you went on, to. Trey what line. university you went to? Trey Line. Oh, you was up. That's smarter than economists. Go ahead, Kenny. Trey, uh, you know I used to hate y'all. bounties. Maybe y'all should I used friends. to hate bounties, bro. I really did, but, but uh, I, no, line, that shit was mighty. mighty. Which is like, what you no, have on a MAGA hat is because of how uh, you're looking me, now. You truly it's more than economists, Kenny. Kenny, that's more than economists. Bro, I'm not, bro, but Kenny, I'm not even a Republican, bro. I got tell him why you got on a MAGA hat. went to Harvard or Yale. You don't have to be a Republican to have on a MAGA hat, bro. Trigger, my point is, what we do is we try to broad brush a lot of things, and they didn't, I could tell that Reese ain't read the tears and what tears was implemented in this country. But him to say that. He wants a 60% tariff on good coming from China. Listen, man. Is that bad or good? We don't get chicken from China. But is that bad or good? We don't get chicken. No, no, listen. Listen, Eat a man. I'm your Huckleberry. Ask me. Ask me why during the pandemic uh, commerce got slowed down because most people weren't importing and exporting. That's not my yeah. question. Okay, so yeah, that's that's what I'm building. What are you talking there. about? Okay, beans. Let Kenny land. Let Kenny land. Okay, so now, wait, wait, ain't no bones and ice cream. That was a song I remember a long time ago. So let's do this. There's a cause and effect for everything. Okay, so now, wait, wait, ain't no bones and ice cream. That was a song I remember a long time ago. So let's do this. Ask the right questions, you get the right answers. Everything within commodities, all three things that you mentioned are commodities, yes or no? Mm-hmm. Sure, yeah. All right, so are they publicly traded? Chicken? <laughs> you keep throwing out chicken, like, come on. No, no, no. I just want to know you You know you started that dumb ass chicken. Uh, no, no, chicken. no, listen, Eat listen, man. listen to me. The no, we're gonna be paying more taxes on the Trump regardless. Hold on, hold on, let me pay more taxes. Eat a man, eat a man. You got this. You got this one. You don't even gotta keep pushing it. You got this one. You just, just okay, so the, the the point that I said before, if if whatever time that you want to po- point out as for when you want Trump to go in there and say we're not, we're gonna undo deals, that took time to do. There has to be a reason that we have those deals in place, and I've yet to hear you address why. We haven't. We're just we're just buckling under and giving them the benefit of the doubt when we're the standard of the world. What do we have in place that we're sweetening the deal by giving them these concessions? I've yet to hear you address that, but I I don't hate a man, don't do it. I I, 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 I commonly hear you just push stuff out. When, when, okay, when they love their leader, Trump, he's their leader. Okay, a Kenny, he's their when co-leader. You're, when, when you're at the table and you're doing business deals, not every deal goes in your favor. Sometimes you have to Did give you just say your own more name? than you get. That's right. That's true. That's true. What are we doing okay. here? This is crazy. So now, no, there's E Kenny and there's Kenny. So when you when you're negotiating at high levels. And mm-hmm. you're doing stuff in other countries. You may sweeten the pot by giving them a certain deal, but the big play is to make sure that you have foot, your your boots on the ground. You have your embassies there. You have trade partners where I scratch yeah. your back, you scratch mine. Yeah, yeah, the thing about it, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, Ken, uh, Kenny. So this is how it is, right? Whenever you do international business, you have to understand the culture of the place. You have to know how because what is corrupt in America might not be corrupt over there. Uh, so you gotta be, you gotta know the culture, so that when you do that business, like in some country you rub your, you rub, you rub my hand, I rub your hand. Some country you rub my back, I rub your back. So you gotta know how to do something, so that that way when you do that business, you 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 sure to do it the way they do it. Just like United States place embassy in some countries, some U.S. embassies are small, some are big. 
those things are dependent on the deal that is signed because not every country will allow you to build a big embassy and put a marines on it you see what i'm saying but you do it because there are things that you have to give them and then there is things that they have to give you so it's trade-off every business every embassy every diplomatic stuff is always a trade-off you can't just come here and mozu people no you can't do that so so uh, the whole i gotta go appreciate you having me um trigger mike this is an interesting show but my, just to let y'all go most most food is actually produced inside the america some exotic foods that we would say that's not but like idaho I, 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 uh, that's I, not I, true oh, most of the food people oh, eat made bro, in the damn lab you. somewhere okay cool a lab in america cool I, the whole point that I'm trying to help y'all say, the whole point that I'm trying to help y'all saying is that we're trying to blame a lot of things that we don't understand the correlation because we're trying to make points. And I I can't believe that I'm agreeing with beans. A lot of y'all have heard a lot of talking points. Y'all don't read. And y'all just saying some stuff because y'all think that that makes sense. And it sounds like y'all sound like food. I can't take y'all you really seriously like after I just broke down how people negotiate all right, all right. This ain't gonna go for back to that i guess the majority of economists are full like skin i guess half so. and never took that course this is gonna go for let me get, we should, let we should get listen mine to either man williams let me get all mine these, off all these going. economists they're wrong okay God, Wait, damn, you, just, you just talked about yourself in third person i don't know oh i don't know if it was me oh my god let me get mine off then we're gonna get gary grant here then we're gonna start on final thoughts because my ass is tired and my kids go to school super fucking early um all right, look, man, how do I benefit from my vote? I'll tell y'all this. Um, before I say anything, let me tell you, I believe that I am smart enough to isolate an advantage for myself, no matter who the fuck is in office. I've told y'all many a time that I really admire Asian people. I am a U.S. citizen. I'm ethnically Nigerian. racist. Hold on, shut up. I'm ethnically Nigerian, but I'm functionally Asian. I move around this bitch like an Asian person. I'm Chinese. I'm telling you. You remember that episode of Atlanta where he's like, no, I might be in this skin, but I'm actually a, a white man. No, nah, I'm actually an Asian man. I just look like a Nigerian dude. All right. And what I mean by that, if y'all notice, Asian people don't vote. They have less than 1% of representation in any government local, state, or federal in the United States of America, and they are economically the number one group in the United States of America. They don't give a fuck who's in office. They isolate an advantage for themselves either way. So that's why I take after their example. <laughs> I'm functionally Asian, so no matter who the hell is in office, I'm going to be all right. But what I will tell you is I cannot vote for Kamala Harris to keep it true to the title of this show. A vote for Against her is a vote for self-preservation. And that's in the beginning. There is an agenda by the Democratic Party to remove the heterosexual black male father figure. I'm sorry, the male father figure from the home and from society. They want to disempower you and they want your permission to do it. They want you to be okay with being removed from your natural position in life. That's why I can't fuck with them. Another reason, they don't, they expect you not to be smart enough to figure out what they're doing. Everything they do is politically charged. Y'all heard about $20 minimum wage, right? I believe it's already implemented in California. A $20 minimum wage will tank almost every single small business in the United States of America. No small business owner can afford to pay any of their employees. $20 a fucking hour. Only big corporations will be in business if that's ever law, federal law. Nobody ever talks about that. You can only afford to pay market rate. CNAs make $11 or $12 an hour. You cannot afford to pay them anymore, especially if you have to give them health care. Right? So it's just these policies that I see. But moreover, it this is a vote for the kids, man. The Democrats have sold their soul to women and to gays. They have. The second that I saw a drag show at an elementary school, that was it. That pushed me over the edge. The fact that I, that I keep telling y'all that they're trying to remove you from your position. The only people that would have a fundamental, a fundamental problem 
with teaching sex to children are their fathers. So they got to get you out the way to do stupid shit like that. Because if you're trying to bring a kid, uh, a drag queen to my kid's school, me and all the other black, white, Indian, Hispanic daddies are going to stand at the door and said over my dead body. That's why they got to get you out the way. And they want you to, to move out of the way willingly. And, and that's why I can't vote for these people. In order for my own image to be preserved, in order for me to be in my natural position in my family, I have to preserve myself, unfortunately, with my vote. I have to. This is a vote for me. I don't see myself represented in any of your agenda. You you are telling me, fuck me to my face and you expect me to be OK with it. Now, I know all like we can go for hours on all the bad shit the Republican Party has done, all the race and shit. That's why this is has nothing to do with that. I would agree with everything you say, but at least they're not doing some of the shit the Democrats are doing. You can't move me out of my way. They, the, the Democrats are anti-traditional family. And I come from a traditional family. So that's all I got on that.